Hey everyone, my name is Kincaid and I'm here today to give you my honest review of the Rabaconda 3 Minute Tire Changer. For the last four years, I used a homemade tire changing stand that was literally two by fours screwed together. I actually still remember the day I made that stand. It was two two by fours on the ground and then it was two more laying perpendicular to those ones to give it some height to keep the rotor and sprocket off the ground. And I remember trying to change the tire but the two by fours kept slipping so that's when I drilled them together. And that became my stand for four years with literally no measurements or anything like that. Just kind of placing two by fours together. And you know what? It got the job done. I got fairly competent at changing tires with that stand. Of course, I was on the ground. It was dirty. It wasn't super fun. I think my absolute best tire change with that stand took me about 20 minutes. But on average, I was probably somewhere around 40. Now, I had long debated buying a Rabaconda or some sort of tire changing stand. One of my philosophies is when you need tools, buy them. But tire changing stands are not particularly cheap and it wasn't really a necessity because I was able to get by without it, but I knew it would make my life a lot easier. Now, going into my first use with the Rabaconda, I wanted to have an open mind because I knew there would be a learning curve to it. The guys changing mooses in three minutes have done hundreds of them and know how to do it like clockwork. I've had the stand for about four months now and I wanted to wait to give this review until I had more experience using the tire changer because for the first handful, I was still pulling up the Rabaconda tutorial on the exact techniques of how to do it. So at this point, the majority of my tire changes with the Rabaconda have been with tires using inner tubes as opposed to mooses. I wanted to wait until I had experience changing a moose under my belt to make this review and I did do one moose with my buddy Teddy. I will say I actually think changing a tire using a moose on the Rabaconda is easier than changing a tire using a tube. This is because you don't have a valve to worry about fishing through the rim and you don't have to worry about popping the tube. The difficulties and horror stories you hear about installing mooses were pretty much non-existent with mine and Teddy's experience installing his. No, it wasn't easy. We didn't breeze through it in three minutes because neither of us had ever changed one before, but the process did go smoothly and I know for sure that I would have hated to do that without the Rabaconda. So the most important thing to be aware of if you buy a Rabaconda is it doesn't just click like that. It's not, you're not going to get the stand and it's going to make tire changes three to five minutes and your life is, is all of a sudden just so much better. The Rabaconda does take work and technique to figure out, but once you get it, the tool not only makes the job faster, but definitely makes it easier. There's a few really well thought out features on the Rabaconda that make a huge difference. For one, the spot to hook the first iron is very, very nice to have. Usually this is the point when I was on the ground with my wooden stand worried about the iron flying back and hitting me in the knuckles. The Rabaconda solves that problem. You use your first iron, tuck it under that notch, and you have peace of mind. Furthermore, the bead breaker is incredibly useful. Tire removal has never been easier. When I watched the tutorial video for the Rabaconda for the first time, I almost didn't believe what I was seeing. You only have to pop off about a third of one side of the tire and then the bead breaker does the rest. That is a true game changer that saves a significant amount of time and effort from traditional tire changing methods. The bead breaker is also incredibly useful for getting that last tiny bite on. You know, when you have four or five inches of tire sitting on the rim and thinking how on earth am I going to get an iron under that, the bead breaker with a little bit of pressure will just push that right on. I will say in my first few tires, especially with 19 inch tires, I did have some issues with popping tubes. I realized that I definitely needed to be more careful with that. That is not a fault of the Rabaconda. That was a fault of my tire changing technique, but that just goes to show that's one thing that I had to worry about before and after getting a Rabaconda. One other thing to note to keep this review completely honest, I've bent a couple of the Rabaconda tire irons. I will say it's at fault of my own. These bends happened at points where the bead definitely was not dropped into the rim properly, so I was just trying to force a 19 inch tire over the rim. This is the point where I could hear the wires in the tire actually snapping, so clearly I was using too much force. But that said, if you use excessive force more than you should, the Rabaconda irons do tend to bend. I have two Motion Pro irons that are the same shape and size and have gone through the same rigor without bending. Overall, these irons are great and I really like them. That's just one thing to know. It's really only happened to me struggling with 19 inch tires. Everything about the production and quality of the Rabaconda is top notch. The carrying case that it comes with, the different accessories, the ability to disassemble it and bring it with you to the race or wherever you're going is very easy. Adjusting for different size tires is no problem. They even give you adapters to fit different wheel spacers. They really thought about everything when they designed this product. As a whole, I would say my life is better with a Rabaconda than it was without. I've had a lot less bloody knuckles and a lot less struggles with tire changes. 
One other thing I'd like to note is the stand has these really nice tabs where you can stick an iron in to put pressure against the rim lock to push it back into the tire. Oftentimes, based on the location of this tab and the shape of the irons, I can't necessarily get enough leverage to really apply pressure to that rim lock, and I end up putting the iron on the back side of the stand. Now, this is just kind of a little workaround for something that I would say is already an added bonus, but if I had one suggestion, it might be to relocate or add an additional tab to the back side so that you could do that same thing. Overall, now having used and experienced the Ravaconda, I would say it is absolutely worth it. I am very happy it's in my garage and I'm very happy I don't ever have to do a tire change on my two x four stand again. That said, I think if you buy a Ravaconda with the mindset that it's just going to make everything easy right away, you will not be happy with the product. As with anything, a lot of technique is still required and once you learn the technique of the Ravaconda, then it is absolutely worth every penny. Like I said, I've also only done the one moose as well. I've never even wanted to tackle mooses because of the horror stories I've heard about installing them without a proper tire changing stand like this. And now having the Ravaconda, I have no fears about getting mooses. And in fact, I'm really excited about the prospect of putting them in my trail bike now. One other thing to note is it does take up a little bit of space. That's certainly something to consider. I have a pretty well designed and laid out garage and I had to decide where the Ravaconda was going to live in here. It's got its nice corner tucked between the mountain bikes. It works perfectly. I slide it out when I need to use it. So that is my honest review of the Raviconda three minute tire changer. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to respond. I will also have links in the description to Raviconda's website where you can check out the rest of their products as well as this tire changing stand. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy tire changing.